Party riding by me! 12 algers hissing, 11 clippers shipping, 10 beehives wigging, 9 strippers stripping, 8 marbles stepping, 7 houses rowing, 7 Washington monuments flying, 5 beer can rings, 4 four stones, 3 po poems, 2 crab cakes, and a ditty by Head Francis Scott King! <laughs> Trademark that song. <laughs> We've already said it. We've I'm already trademarked it. Copyright that song. We've already trademarked it. Send it to the archives in Washington. <laughs> Play it on Broadway. <laughs> listen, listen, she made Hamden, all right? Yeah. You take, someone take this out of my hand before I go and put it on the internet and make us a billion dollars off it. I'm going to sell it to the radio. Hi, how are you? Um, so yeah, tell me what the happened. I'm not here about what's yeah, going on today. Well, there's a protest about the Hun trademark, but I don't want to comment on the trademark because I'm not a lawyer. So, and I'm not an expert on what's going on as far as that. But um, I've been here for 10 years, and in the restaurant business, that's kind of unheard of. There's usually a lot of turnover. Um, and the reason I've been here for 10 years is because Denise has always been fair and generous to her employees and never treated us in, without respect. So we're all here today in uh, favor of the Hun. You know, if, we, if the Hun wasn't here, we wouldn't have, 54 people wouldn't have a job. So that's, that's what we're here for. And your name? My name's Lisa Davis. Now Lisa, you know, there's a lot of people that don't have any problem with Cafe Hun being trademarked. It's just the word Hun itself. That's what the dispute really comes down to. How do you feel about that? Um, I just wonder where they were 10 years ago when it was trademarked um, and when the restaurant started. They talk about their culture and their heritage and, you know, if they were so worried about the Hun and, you know, it's gone from Cafe Hun to the Hun Oval Hun logo, you know, they weren't concerned about it then. So I, I just, I'm, I'm just saddened by it. Anything else? No. Your name? Uh, Danielle Robinette. And Danielle, why is it important for you to be here today? Um, I'm here to support Baltimore today and support, you know, the, the whole community of Baltimore owning its culture and owning its, you know, its its love and everything like that. I mean, this speaks far more, the, the whole Hun thing goes way past Cafe Hun and John Waters and everything. It speaks to the wonderful women in the 50s and 60s who scrubbed their steps and made this city amazing. So I think you throw a pink flamingo on something and a pair of cat eye glasses and it just makes it really trite and tacky and it cheapens it. So we're out here to, you know, it's all about pride, not profit. So he's, you can get a shot of this too. It's, he's amazing. So. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's supporting Baltimore, not supporting somebody's bank account. You so know what I mean? So fair to say you think she went just a little too far. Uh, yeah. Like a, the I think, Cafe Hun thing. Okay. Okay. I get it. Like, You've just but the Heinz thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, and, and he even said something earlier. It takes, you know, it takes a community to kind of turn a community around. And so for her to kind of say that, oh, I made hand in, I turned it around, I did this, I did this. I just, I don't buy it because this city was so amazing, you know, for so long. So and such so is it. So okay. support, support Baltimore. Awesome. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. What's important about the day for you? This demonstration. Oh, I mean, how would you summarize it? I think it's a beautiful exercise myself. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Go ahead, Lenny. No, it's a, it's a love fest. <laughs> everybody was complimenting everybody else when I was around most of the time today here. That's all. I, uh. Look, this is Baltimore. They have five cop cars over there. Right now, somebody's stabbing somebody over their Wheaties. You know, and they got five cop cars here uh, to protect uh, Denise from all these big bad activists. You know, this certainly isn't integrating the uh, Druid Hill Park tennis courts. But um, I was there. That um, day. Which Leonard was there. I was there. That day. Leonard was the line judge. No. Um, <laughs> 
but um, that was what's your name? My name is Janice Bowen. And Janice, why is it important for you to be out here in 30 degree weather? Yes, <laughs> waiting with the for, hunt stuff with here. a Ravens game a <laughs> yeah. half an hour away. Yeah. Um, it's just about greed and attempts to co-opt the spirit of Baltimore. I grew up in Baltimore City and love the place and just don't like the commercial direction that Denise seems to be taking on. Well, <clears throat> there are a lot of people that feel like the Cafe Hun thing, okay on that. Uh, trademarking that. That's a, that's a business. But the word Hun itself, <clears throat> I dated Huns from East Baltimore. Now, I, I had a man come like out. I married one. <laughs> when I was standing on the other side of the street, I had a man come out and say, don't you know there's single mothers working here and they'll be out of the streets, out on the street. And, you know, the issue is no one wants to put the Cafe Hun or Hun Town out of business. You know, and, and that seems to be a popular myth that Denise Whiting is trying to put out there, and that's not it. They would just like to see the term Hun return to the people of Baltimore. That's it. Very well stated. Anything else? No. Okay, thanks. Go Ravens. Go Ravens. <laughs>